This is the last macro we're going to talk about. What's uh, what's special about magnesium? I'll tell you what's special about magnesium. It's a very special nutrient that hucksters and con men use to sell you macronutrients or micronutrient packages because they'll convince you that it's needed to turn the grass green because magnesium is the center ion of the chlorophyll molecule and chlorophyll turns the grass green. That's what's special about it. In terms of applying it and seeing a turf response, I'll say almost never. Almost never will you see a response to the granular application or the foliar application of magnesium on turf grasses, even when they're growing in low magnesium soils, quote unquote, low magnesium soils. I mean, theoretically, if you found the actual limit and you were below that limit and you indeed had a magnesium deficiency, then applying it would resolve that. But you just don't normally see that. Why? Because magnesium's everywhere, just like calcium. Magnesium's very, very common in soils. It doesn't oxidize like iron and manganese. It stays soluble. Whatever you applied will remain soluble for weeks and weeks and weeks, months. It, it, in fact, it'll probably just stay in there until it leaches out or gets taken up. So you just have, you have so much of it already applying more, you're not going to see a response to it. Okay. And I know there's 15 people typing an email right now, hate mail saying, I saw a response to magnesium. Yeah, because you applied magnesium sulfate and you saw a response to sulfate is probably what it was, but not to magnesium. Okay. So that's what's special about magnesium. It's a very good um, whistle word, if you want to call it that, or a hook to get you in. So, oh, well, magnesium, it's the center ion in the chlorophyll molecule. It's going to turn the grass green. Not when we test it, not when we, not when we account for the variables and test it correctly. We just don't see that that frequently. It's very rare. You know, magnesium doesn't get as much attention as maybe as it should. Uh, <laughs> so you know where he's going to go. You know where he's going to go. It doesn't get much attention. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. Let's see where he goes. Um, as far as plant health goes, we all know nitrogen makes grass green. We know iron makes grass green. Magnesium is part of chlorophyll. It makes grass <laughs> There you go. I told you. I told you. That's, ex that's exactly, I swear, I don't remember the last part of this video. I didn't just say that before. I didn't watch this video before. I've been sick for the last three days. I didn't watch this video. I told you. That was exactly what they say. I swear. I swear I didn't watch this beforehand. <laughs> that's fantastic. I told you that just it's just the same every time I've heard these stories for I don't know how many years. <laughs> it's they're easy to pill, to pick out. They're super easy to pick out. Screen too. Um, and so where I've seen uh, and magnesium's really sticky. We can load it. We can build it up pretty easily. Don't do that. Don't build up these nutrients in the soil. It's 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 insanity. It's absolutely insane. It's this, I mean, and, and this is the, the illusory truth effect. They just keep saying the same thing over and over and over. And despite you knowing what's true, the, the average human will eventually be convinced, even if you know what they're saying is not true, they just keep saying the same thing over and over and over again. That's the illusory truth effect. Don't believe it. <laughs> Please don't do that. Don't build it up in the soil. Don't go throw out a bunch of magnesium sulfate trying to build up your magnesium with your potassium. Don't Please don't do that. You either have enough or you don't. Case of magnesium, anything, I mean, it's hard to say in every soil, but anything around 20 or north of 20 on terms of parts per million, Malik 3, is probably sufficient. When you get south of 20, there's you're starting to float into some concerning risk zones. You know, So if you look at your soil test and your magnesium is south of 20 and you look at your turf grass and you see a magnesium deficiency, which is really easy to, to identify, then you probably have a magnesium deficiency. But short of that, don't try to go out there and build up a bunch of magnesium. Please don't do that.